Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa for those of you guys who don't know me and for those of you guys who haven't been here yet Welcome to my channel um, So I wanted to do a look recreated based off of a picture that I posted on Instagram a while ago um, But it's actually a little bit different than what I have on right now because I thought I did a Copper smoky eye, smoky eye with a blue inner corner, but I actually did a like a golden halo eye with the blue inner corner, so it don't matter anyways same deal. You can definitely do whatever color you want to pop on your lid. You don't have to necessarily do all the colors that I use today. Um, but I definitely want to recreate this and do a video on this look. So here we are. <laughs> um, I definitely use some new products as well. Um, I switched out like the Tarte Shape Tape for the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I've been using new foundations, new setting spray, new mascara. And yeah, a whole bunch of new stuff. So I'll let you, I'll just shut up and let you guys watch the video because we'll be here till nine o'clock at night if I just keep talking. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll uh, let you guys get to it. So enjoy. All right. So now that we're up and close and personal with this mug. <laughs> We're gonna get started. So, <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna be going in with the brand new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration palette. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone under, under my brow bone. And I'm gonna be going in with the second shade right over here. This is gonna highlight the brow bone area. So I'm just gonna be going in with like this little elf flat shader brush right over here. So clearly I already primed my eyes and I already did my brows because you know the drill. My brows take forever. So today I kind of want to do like a recreation of like a makeup look that I did on Instagram like a couple weeks ago I want to say. Um, it was the one that had like the blue inner corner. So for that I'm actually going to start off with this shade in this palette right over here next to that orange shade. So this is going to be my crease color. And I'm just gonna be going in with a Morphe E27. I'm just gonna be focusing this color in the outer corners and the inner corners and kind of connecting the two in the middle, but keeping it close into the crease. I don't wanna to go too um, low with it. So I'm just doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions. Once I have less product on my brush, I'm gonna start kind of fanning it upwards, a little higher than my crease. Just so that way you can start to see like the transition colors. Once everything's gonna be layered down, you're gonna be able to see like the gradual colors. I don't want it to just be one color mashed up or three colors mashed up into one. I wanna have a nice gradient effect. And then I'm gonna be popping it into the inner corner as well. So now I'm just connecting the inner corner and the outer corner in the middle, just kind of meeting them halfway. I want to keep most of the pigment on the outer and inner corner. You don't want too much pigment right in the center right over here. Um, just because when we pop that shimmer, we're going to be kind of connecting th those together. So you want to have the effect of like a deeper set eye. So by keeping that pigment in the outer and inner corners will give you that effect. Okay, great. So you should have something like this for right now. All right, so next we're gonna be going in with this shade right over here, this nice chocolate brown. And we're gonna be using a Morphe M441 brush for this. So with that nice chocolate brown, we're just gonna pop that onto the outer corners and the inner corners, keeping it a little bit lower than the transition shade that we were just working with. So I'm just gonna pop this right in here. Again, you don't want to go on the actual lid. We want to keep that bare for when we pop the shimmer eyeshadow in there. But you can definitely meet the two in the middle again, but very lightly. And then same idea for the inner corner. And just kind of lightly sweep in the middle so that way all the colors kind of blend nicely together and there's no harsh edges.
So you should have some. Right, so now you should have something similar to this. And I'm just gonna go back in with the E27 and just buff out the edges so that way there's no patches or no, or no harsh lines. All right, and then next we're just gonna be going in with this darker brown right over here at the bottom of the palette. And I'm just gonna be taking a MAC 221 brush. And again, just keeping it lower and tighter in the outer and inner corners of the eye. Again, this just emphasizes the depth of your eyes and just gives you more of a deeper set crease. You can kind of see that I'm kind of dragging it a little, like kind of pushing the product upwards a little bit. Just because I know that I have less product on my brush, so I'm not gonna be too pigmented up here. And I'm just trying to blend everything really nicely. And then in the inner corner. And I'm just doing circular motions again. Right, so you should have something similar to this right now. And then again, back with the E27 and just buffing out everything. So usually I go in with some glitter glue just so, so that way I know that when I go in with my shimmers, I know that it's gonna be super pigmented and really metallic. But these eyeshadows are so good, they don't even need that. I am just gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus though on my brush just because that's what I do. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with this nice copper shade right in here and I might mix it with this bowl that's sitting right next to it as I just poked a fucking hole in it. I'm just gonna mix those two, those two together um, I don't know, we'll, we'll play around with it, but for right now I'm just dipping into that copper shade and I'm gonna be popping it onto the lid where we didn't put any eyeshadow. So now I'm kind of overlapping over the lines where we kind of stopped the eyeshadow, eyeshadows just so that way you don't see that separation. And then just kind of lightly patting it upwards where we met those two in the middle for the eyeshadow but not too heavy. I just wanna have a light wash. All right, so now you should have something similar to this right here. And now I'm just gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna be going in with that same darker brown that we, eat, that we use in the outer corner and the inner corner with the same MAC 221 brush. And just gonna be working along the edges of the copper shimmer and just marrying the two together. I feel like this is such a fall look, but is it bad that I want to say? I really want fall. Fall is like my favorite, favorite season of the year. So if I could be fall all year round, I'd be happy. So at this point, I just go back and forth a lot with blending it out, adding more color, blending it out, and adding more color, just to the point where I think it looks okay just because I'm super OCD about how my makeup looks, so I pretty much beat this till like my wrists start falling off. So if you wanna go ahead and skip ahead to the next steps, you go right ahead. I'll be here still blending. So this actually isn't like the same exact eye look that I did on my, on my Instagram page. This is definitely more coppery. I totally blanked. I thought I used a copper, but I actually used a gold in the picture, but same idea. You can pop whatever color you want on your lid. Um, I just gravitated to that nice copper and getting some real fall vibes right over here, so I ain't mad. I ain't mad. All right, so now that eye is done, I'm actually gonna go and do my other eye. I might just do foundation and concealer and then skip ahead and then I'll do my highlight and lipstick on camera and then the rest will be probably off camera. But um, let me just go ahead and finish this eye and then I'll be back and then I'll just hopefully I'll have decided by then what I wanna do, so. So I'm just gonna go in with the Tatcha Balance Pore, Perfect Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. I've had this for a while but I kinda stopped using it for a little while. Um, but kinda wanna start using it again. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Tried and True First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I think this is like my fourth bottle of this stuff already. 
but I do like this one because they just came out with the new packaging. Before you just had to like untwist like the cap, but now you can actually pop the lid open and it's a little squeezy tube. So thank you for doing that because I was getting really sick and tired of just like untwisting the whole time and twisting it back on. So this is definitely easier for me. I know it's just like the most minuscule thing, but <laughs> I always forget to dampen my beauty blender before I actually sit down here and start doing my makeup. So I'll be right back. All right, so a foundation that I've actually been really, really loving is the Dior Forever Foundation. It does have an SPF 35 in here, and you do get typical foundation amount, which is just the one ounce. Um, but what I also find kind of unique about this is when you actually pump it on the back of like your, your beauty sponge or brush or whatever, you have to pump a lot to get a lot out. It comes out in like small little deposits. It doesn't come out in like one big chunk and you're really left with so much on your beauty sponge that you don't know what to do with it. So I really appreciate that you're not really wasting the product. Um, again, forgot to do my cream contour. So that's another thing that I've been doing that's new is actually been cream contouring. So I'm gonna do that off camera just because I'm still kind of like tweaking some stuff with that so I'm not perfected that yet. So, be right back. All right, let's just point out the elephant in the room. A little, little cray cray right now. But now we're gonna go with the foundation and blend this out so it looks a little bit more presentable. So like I said, I'm just gonna go with the Dior Forever foundation. I am in the shade 14014, which is Fair Almond. So I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my beauty sponge. So as you can see, that's the whole pump. Like that's all you get. I love that because you don't waste so much product with just such a huge pump of it. I think it's genius and I think every foundation should have that, so. So I'm just gonna start dotting it everywhere and just start blending it out. By the way, this is, I believe it's full coverage or medium to full coverage. This is definitely a foundation that I would repurchase even though it is a hefty $50. <laughs> It is so worth it and it wears so nice throughout the day when I do wear it. It doesn't crease on me or it creases very, very little on me, but it lasts so nice and it looks really, really pretty. So I kind of like to just go around the cream contour first, get most of like the product off of the sponge and then once it is off or most of it's off, that's when I like to go on top and just start pressing some of the foundation on it. I'm gonna do my concealer off camera, so I'll be back, pop that on, and then I'm probably gonna do the rest of my face off camera, and then check back in and do my lips and my highlight on camera, so, and finish up the eyes. All right, so I put the rest of my face on. Um, instead of using the Tarte Shape Tape this time, I've actually been using the um, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the shade Chantilly. I've noticed that by using this one, I never crease underneath with um, underneath for my eyes just because I have some really pretty deep set um, a crease, but it's really deep. Um, but every time I would use a shape tape, it would always end up like settling in those lines even if I would set them with a powder. Um, so ever since I've been using this guy, it actually hasn't been doing that. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked about this. So I'm hoping that it doesn't disappoint, um, but I haven't been really using my Tarte Shape Tape because of that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this uh, guy goes for me. So, so yeah, rest of my face is on. Um, so I will zoom you guys in again and we're gonna work on the bottom waterline and then finish up the rest of the face. And yeah, then I gotta go to work, so. All right, so to start off with, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Blacker. I love this stuff. If you are on the hunt for a waterproof black creamy um, pencil, look no further. It's a little bit on the pricier side for a pencil liner. It's $25, but I think it's worth it. I'm just gonna pop this on my waterline. I usually use like the cap end to just kind of tug down on my lash line and just pop that right on top. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Sigma Smudge E21 brush. It looks like this, it's really tiny. It's a perfect smudger brush. Um, and I'm gonna go in 
with this dark brown from Jack and Hill palette at the bottom that we've been using for our um, crease. And I'm just gonna be smudging out the black. And I'm only smudging out the outer and inner corner. I'm not smudging out the middle just because we're gonna be mirroring the top. So we're gonna be doing some shimmer on the bottom as well right over here. All right, so it should look something like this. Then with the same brush before, the Morphe M421 brush, I'm just gonna be popping some of that same copper shade and popping it right in the middle, right over here. Then going back in with the MAC 221 brush, I'm gonna be taking this nice chocolate caramel brown that we were using before, popping that right underneath the dark brown. You should have something like this. I kind of like lightly dust it underneath the copper a little bit to just kind of connect both sides. But that's about it. So I'm gonna go and do the other eye real quick. So for mascara today, I'm actually gonna be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I've actually been using this every single day for probably like three weeks now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on real quick and then I'll be right back and finish the rest of my face. All right, so lashes are on. I'm using the Violet Boss Idaho lashes. These are probably some of my favorite dramatic lashes. So now I'm gonna start highlighting my face. So first I always go in with the um, Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter Powder, powder in the shade Radiant Lights. I usually use this to kind of like strobe my face. So I usually do this in like the chin. Um, forehead and just to kind of give like your night your skin like a nice glow and it's not gonna be like a chunky glitter it's gonna be like a nice real almost like a real dew look to your skin so I usually go in with the Anastasia the a23 highlighting brush for this so you see how it just looks like nice shine to your skin it's not gonna be oily or like I mean not oily it's not gonna be like glittery or chunky or anything it's really really pretty to strobe the face with your skin just looks hydrated and glowing and a little bit more dimensional. I kind of throw this like everywhere on my forehead. Then next I'm going to go in with the Sleek Makeup, this is so dirty, <laughs> um, highlighting palette in the shade Solstice. And I'm going to be going in with a cream first and then with this kind of champagne-y silver shade right over here. And to do that, I'm gonna use the Morphe E36 brush. It's just like a pencil brush. So I'm just gonna be highlighting underneath my brow bone a little bit more. So I'm just picking up the cream and then going in with the powder. It just intensifies it so nice. Yes, honey. And then with that same palette, just going in with this powder right over here. I'm just gonna highlight the tip of my nose. I've been really digging the dewy look, if you haven't guessed by now. And then also the Cupid's bow. So now to do that fun little pop of inner corner in the eye, I, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Y20 brush. Again, kind of like a thicker pencil-like brush. I'm going to be going in with this beautiful ocean blue in this palette. I love this color. As soon as um, she posted the picture of this. I immediately gravitated to this color. I love blues. I love shimmery blues. That is right up my alley. So I am so excited about this. Oh, so excited. Are you kidding me? Like, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. All right, I might have to do a whole separate look on just like a blue, a nice blue eyeshadow look. No words are coming out. Beautiful. Love it. So gorgeous, so sick. Girl. All right, so next I'm just gonna go back. I think I've used this before on camera. This is the Tarte Rain for the Sea Twinkle Stick, and this is in the shade Skylight. I always use a cream base for my highlight, and then I go in with a powder highlight. So again, just gonna be going in with this little guy first. You, wouldn't, you don't actually don't even need to go in with powder highlight after this because it's actually really pigmented on its own, but I think I'm gonna go in with 
my Jeffree Star um, Eclipse highlighter for today. Oh, and I'm just using a Morphe Y14 brush for this. All right, next I'm just gonna apply some lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with the Kylie, Je Kylie Ginger Lip Liner, and I'm also gonna be pairing that with the Kylie um, Matte Lip Lipstick in the shade Ginger as well. I figured it'd be a nice like pair with like the nice copper look that we're going for. So I'm just going to be going in with the Kylie Jenner Ginger Lip Lipstick. Alright, and then to finish this all off, I'm going to be going in with two different setting sprays. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Prep and Set first. And um, I've actually been really liking this. I love the fact that they put it in an aerosol can. Um, makes it so much easier and so much more of a fine mist. You don't have to worry about it spitting at you and ruining your makeup. Um, definitely like this and definitely like that um, the ingredients in here, it does have glycerin, so super, super good. Um, the other one that I'm gonna use is new to me. I've been using it like twice now, I think. Uh, but it's the Itacha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Like I said, I've been really into um, dewy looks lately, um, dewy skin, so this has actually been really, really doing it for me. Um, so I usually use this first to just kind of help everything stick together, and then I usually go in with this last, and just to make it everything look more dewy and alive and radiant looking, so I'm gonna go do that now. And I love the way that this smells too. So so this is the finished look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I definitely like me some warm tone smoky halo eyes um, but I don't want to do too much of a long spiel for today so I'm going to keep it short and sweet <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'm hoping I'm going to be a little bit better with keeping videos a little shorter for you guys <laughs> If not, well, grab some popcorn because your girl talks a lot. <laughs> but I don't have anything else to add for you right now, so I will just see you in my next video and blab on some more there. So I'll catch you guys in my next video.